Hey guys, it's Phantom here and welcome back to a brand new video everyone where in today's video I'm gonna be going on a little bit of a rant. I'm gonna be going on a little bit of a rant just uh, about the whole holiday season you know that we have here presented in front of us by KI and well certain things that they've done you know during during this particular holiday season of 2021 that have well what's the best way to say this really pissed me off. I I really don't know why specifically it's just so so bad this year and what I'm talking about is KI's tendency to just really really over monetize their game and implement scummy monetization tactics to just kind of extort the maximum amount of money out of their player base as possible it's just it's just been really bad this year and maybe you can just say that like as this game's lifespan goes on it kind of gets worse but I, I don't know man I thought for a while we were maybe doing just a little bit better in that retrospect but this holiday season has just proved that that's not true whatsoever and my god am I disappointed. Now I'm not saying things were perfect but they definitely didn't need to allow it to get this bad. That's that's pretty much all I'm saying here and by the way I thought I would mention that this video is actually being scheduled to get uploaded on Christmas so I just want to say Merry Christmas to everyone who is watching this currently. I hope this kind of negative video doesn't really bring down your holiday spirit too too much. Hopefully you are still able to just enjoy this day to the fullest extent with friends and family because you deserve it god damn it but anyways though let's get into just the ranting let's let's get into just all of the rage i mean okay what has ki done though really that's just so so bad what makes this year just so so special in terms of just how severe the over monetization is well okay there's this first thing here there's this first thing and let me just say it gets worse okay it gets worse but the first thing that i would like to bring up is is this timed rewards bundle. You might remember that they did something similar to this last year. Now, this is definitely a part in all of this that I am not sure about. So I know that they did a deal similar to this last year where they did give you the option to pay $60 for a 12 month membership in addition to 5K crowns every single month. However, I'm pretty sure there is a difference in between last year's deal and this year's deal because I don't remember anyone actually talking about well this this little fact right here this little this little tidbit that they have right here at the top and that is the fact that it actually does require a 12 month wizard 101 or pirate 101 membership obviously you can purchase this deal for pirate 101 as well if you so choose to but it basically requires you in order to purchase this deal and in order to get your year membership in addition to your 5k monthly crown allotment you need to have an already active 12 month wizard 101 or pirate 101 membership which is so, so stupid. Like, oh, hey, man, you know, you already have a year membership active. Well, hey, just just hear me out, okay? You can choose to go ahead and kind of upgrade that membership, you know, and get a little bit of crowns with it for just an additional $60, which I just, like, dude... <laughs> I can't, man. I, I can't, especially for the people who like want to purchase this deal, right? Who want to purchase this deal and don't already have an active yearly membership. You are literally paying them $120 up front. You're literally, you literally have to pay them $120 up front to just actually get this. And, I, and they have the audacity to just call it a deal, right? They have the audacity to call it a deal when they're just forcing you to have a prerequisite year membership, which by the way is super duper expensive. Just in addition to this, like a requirement to actually purchase this, like, are you are you serious? Like, I would call it a deal if you actually didn't need to have, you know, a certain a certain membership, right, to actually purchase this. Then, you know, that would be this would be okay. This would be okay, and I think that's what they did last year, but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. You could tell me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but I I don't remember this. I, I seriously don't remember this being there, which means that they just chose to do it this year. They they chose to do it because like, hey, why not? Why not just like slap this. On on a membership that you already have instead of just offering this deal as just a standalone deal right for people who actually don't have membership and you know they can get a little bit of a bonus with that because it is the holidays but no no let's let's not do that let's not do that no no you gotta you gotta pay beforehand you gotta you gotta pay beforehand if you want access to this exclusive deal right here it makes it even worse when you consider the fact that this just 
really, really shitty deal is taking place during holiday time. So th that means obviously it's here for only a limited amount of time. Just further increasing like the pressure that the buyer has, like the person who's actually considering buying this or not. You know, they're like, well, hmm, I don't know, man. Like at the time of me recording this, it's December 23rd. Only seven days left in December. You know, maybe I maybe I should just pick this up because I well, I don't know. I don't know when it's gonna come back. You know, and it's just like ugh. When you when you're just offering like such a terrible deal like this, it's just layers upon layers of scum, and I just, I, I really, really hate it. I mean, can, can you guys tell, like, can you, can you tell that I hate this? Anyways, I think we've been here for too long, let's just, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, I have already mentioned this issue just in general with seasonal packs in the past, but I, I would like to just mention this and just push this, uh, this narrative further because I, I just fucking hate these things so much, so for this year, as for, you know, the holiday celebration, right, everyone's probably aware that usually they release, like, like some new crown shop items, new crown shop pack items, that's for sure. But however, whether these new crown shop pack items are contained in a separate pack of its own or in another pack that was already released in a previous year is, well, really up to KI. And this year they decided to just go ahead and update the Eulotide Mornings pack, which I just think is, is just extremely, extremely unreasonable when you consider the fact that when you add more items into the pack, items of just equal rarity to the items that were already in that pack well, it kind of lowers your overall chance of getting the items that you actually want because when you're actually like hitting those drop rates, if you're hitting those drop rates and you're actually getting, you know, items from the packs and having decent luck, well, there's a good chance that you are going to get items from, you know, the set of items that you don't want, that, that you just don't want from like, you know, whatever respective year we're talking about. But yeah, the point is you could just get other items because like it's, it's just essentially like a mixed pack at that point really and i have a feeling i have a feeling that ki knows exactly what they're doing when they release these updated packs because it just it did not used to be the case and it makes a lot of sense to me that you know someone would realize one day like hey you know we could just do this we could just rebrand packs right and just put more items in them and you know technically we're still doing the same thing but people actually end up spending more of their crowns on the pack just instead of releasing like a whole new pack just with its own like theme and everything that's actually really, really cool and people actually come to enjoy, right? And people can actually get the items that they want, but no, we're just we're just gonna update a pack. We're just gonna update a pack lazily and you know, that that's pretty much it. The next thing that I would like to bring up is, well, how should I say this? The sort of timeline just in between the mystery discount as well as, you know, the crown sale that we usually get, right? around around the holiday season and the actual you know length of the crown sale as well as the availability of the mystery discount code it's just i mean they they did something different this year they they did just in terms of how long the mystery discount code as well as the crown sale actually remain active and i'm not exactly sure how this compares to last year but i definitely know that if we're just talking about previous years as a whole well we've we've fallen quite far. So basically what happened is a few days ago as part of, you know, the 12 days of the spiral, something that I'm pretty sure we are all very familiar with, they chose to release their discount code, right? This code can range from anywhere between 10 and 50% off, I think your entire card purchase, which, you know, is is really great. It's, it sounds really, really great on paper. And, you know, it was great for a really long time. However, what they have done this year specifically is make it so that code was only available for like one or two days, maybe three if, if you're lucky. But yeah, it was something like one to three days or something, definitely not longer than three days. But my main point being that the code was not available for a very, very long time. And as I mentioned previously in this video, that just kind of contributes to the pressure that the consumer feels. Because obviously, if they're working with a small time frame, then their their mind is definitely gonna be clouded. Their their judgment is definitely going to be kind of clouded by that outside factor, and they definitely might be more likely to just kind of purchase whatever is laid out in front of them, or you know, in this case, use the actual mystery discount code, you know, soon after it comes out, or just like you know, soon before it kind of expires, and actually, you know, make use of that. So it's like they're still getting people to pay for things, you know, they're just still getting like way more people to pay for things in a short amount of time just by making the code, you know, not available for very long.
Kong, which I just think is extremely shitty because I think in previous years, like the code used to be available for at the very least a large portion of the month. But they're not doing that anymore. They're, they're not doing that anymore. And it's definitely just really sad to see when you just remember the past, you know, when you just remember the past and the way that things are. The same can be said for the crown sale as I am reasonably sure that the crown sale took place immediately after, like the, literally the day after that the mystery discount code expired. So it's it's funny because like what they're doing is like, hey, oh, look, oh, oh gosh, you know, the, the mystery discount code expired. Oh boy. But like, hey, t take a look at this new thing. Take a look at this new thing that we got going on, you know, just more opportunities to pressure you into buying something from our store. That's that's literally what they're doing. Because, you know, instead of having a mystery discount code and a crown sale going on, just kind of working in conjunction to make sure that you save money for the holidays, they're just, they're just putting them at separate times so you actually end up spending more money because some people will definitely be pressured to make, you know, two purchases just because of like the sort of the, the quote unquote opportunities that they've been given. It's just like, oh, uh, like these, these business tactics, man, they're just, they're just so scummy. They're just so, uh, like I just, I, I hate it so much. It's just gotten to, it's just gotten to a terrible level. What can I say? I feel like complaining about all of the different crown reward events that they have going on is a little bit redundant at this point, because I feel like, you know, most of us as a community, you know, we're collectively aware of the fact that, you know, things aren't really going to change with those. You know, they're still going to require a ton of crowns to get their rewards that just aren't even really that worthwhile. But, you know, I, I thought I would mention that they did have a crowns reward event just kind of going on during, you know, the time when all of this is happening, just further contributing to the over monetization because you really just are pressuring people to just spend really more and more, you know, when you have like just certain incentives, right? At certain points, just working together with all of the different, all of the different really other ways that you're getting people to buy and spend crowns in the first place. Like it's just not, it's just not good. You know, it's, it's just really not good when you've already spent like, I don't know, 50 K crowns or something like that, just already made so many terrible decisions. And you're just like, well, Hey, you know, I could just I could just spend, you know, 10k more. I could just spend 10k more crowns just just to get that scooter mount, you know, you know, while it's here, while it's here for the holidays. It's just it's so bad, guys. It's it's so bad and it just amalgamates into a lot of people just making really really poor choices, you know, including myself. I am not exempt from this. Let me just say, I am not exempt from this, but I still think it's definitely important to talk about. So, I mean, there you go. There's kind of the rant for you. <laughs> I really hope you guys did enjoy. I I wish I could have you know, released a more positive video on Christmas, but you know, hey, a bonus video is a bonus video. So uh, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy though. Make sure to leave a like if you did or subscribe to the channel as that would help me out very much. Once again, a very, very happy Merry Christmas to all of you. Happy Merry Christmas. Is that even? Okay. Anyways though, hope you guys have a good holidays though, seriously. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video or stream, whenever that may be. So take care and peace out everyone.